Hey, it's Sivan here. Welcome to the third video in this uh, Let's Model. Uh, in this one, we're going to be looking at the building all the rig, uh, adding IK splines, and getting the control handles in place. Um, so, in the video after, we can finalize the rig, parent, and bind it. So, I've just opened the project from where we were last time. So, what we want to do um, first, um, we want to get all of our other legs in place. There's a few different ways to make this rig and there's probably better ways than what I'm going to show you but for what we're doing I found this to be the quickest and sort of simplest to explain. So what we want to do is select up, select all the parts that make up um, our leg. So make sure you mark e all of it um, because if you grab one foot it will look like they're all selected um, but it's just one due to the instancing. So select them all, um, control G to group um, and it's going to put center point in the middle which uh, as long as you put it the same as me is where you want it otherwise you need to move it to the middle of your Omnidroid. Right so now what we want to do is go to uh, edit, duplicate special, open the options, we want to reset settings, we want our group under to be world because we don't want them to have history on each other and we need six legs in total so we want five more and we need to rotate it by 60 degrees. Uh, in a video I do go into the duplicate special options in a lot more detail um, so if you do want to then watch that uh, I should link it at the bottom but what we need six in total and we need it to evenly be spread the whole way around our Omnidroid so these settings should do it for us. Yep so that's all of our legs um, placed so they're all separate from each other and they all are in groups so it's nice and tidy for us. So what we want to do is um, select all of our legs, make a new layer so down on the right in the channel box and what we want to do is turn the uh, turn that layer not visible so the first box will change visible or not. So select a leg, up arrow to go to the group, right click the layer, add selected object and we want to do this just so we have one leg left. Right. Now in front view, what we want to do is go to the rigging menu set, go to skeleton and create joints. What we can do, because it's built along our grid lines, we can hold down X and grid snap and then if we hold shift everyone after that it will do it in a straight line. So this is going to be the center for our whole body. And then what we need is um, one for the uh, sort of ball joint to rotate around. And then what we want is one per break in the leg. So uh, as close as possible, it doesn't got to be perfect, but we just want to add a joint in each of these. Right, and then when we get towards the end of the leg, we want to add um, probably just one um, at the bottom and then one in the middle of our claw and then we hit enter to confirm. So this is our um, standard kind of joint chain. What we want to add now is an IK spline. So under skeleton what we want to look for is create IK spline. We can go into the options. These are the options that I've used. So um, they are the default settings and then what we want to do is so we want our um, IK spine handle to go from inside the ball joint to um, just in the last the joint before last what we can then do is um, duplicate our um, rig so we want to select this middle joint and what we want to do is open our duplicate special options again and we should be able to use the same as before. It won't um, put the IK spine in for us so what we need to just do is IK spline and just quickly place it again. So you may want to turn your geometry back on so you can make sure you're doing it to the right place.
Once all the uh, rig and joints are in place, what we can then do is um, start to parent and bind the geometry to the rig. So what we want to do first is parent the main body to the center. So select the geometry, shift select the center joint, P. We also want to do the rings. So once the rings are added, we can check what we've done by just selecting the middle joint and then everything that is done will go green. So what we want to do next is select the whole head. We then want to group it and we want to move the pivot point so we have a bit more control. So select it, move the pivot point. And once you're happy with it, we want to group, um, we want to parent the group to the center. So we've now got all of this moving together. Then what we want to do is parent the ball joints to the end joint. So we need to have all of those as well. So we then need to um, soft bind the geometry to the joint. So select the joint, shift select, uh, so select the geometry, shift select the joint inside the ball joint, and then skin, bind skin. And we need to do that for all of the joints. So once those are done, if we select the middle, um, everything that's been parented will be green, and then everything that's been uh, bound will be uh, pink red, a pinky purple color. So then what we need to do is select the end joint here and we want to parent them right to the last joint. So P. When we select the claws they'll all go green because of the instancing but we need to make sure we do each one separately. So select one, parent, select another, parent, another, parent. So I've missed one out there. If I select the center, one's left purple, um, so that shows it's missing from our parenting. And we need to do that for all of the claws. Right, so once all of those are done, if I set the middle uh, joint, I'm then able to move the whole rig together. Right, because uh, I'm only going to be posing this, I'm not doing a full animation, um, I'm not going to be doing a full um, control rig, I'm just going to be doing it kind of a, a quick uh, and easy way. So what we want to do is hide IK handles, hide joints, and we want to hide uh, NURBS curves. So all we should be left with is our geometry. Right, and then what we want to do is select all of our geometry apart from our claws. Um, and we can probably leave the head out as well. We want to add them to a new layer and we want to turn this layer to reference. So what it will do is it will lock it and then if we turn uh, our NURBS curves back on, we can then just pull our NURBS curves around um, without grabbing anything else. So it's just a kind of very um, sort of quick and easy way to pose it. I wouldn't necessarily suggest doing it for animating as you don't have full control um, but that's the basic rig and then if we need to move the whole body we just turn joints back on then move the body and then just turn them back off. So in the next video we're going to do a podium posing and then quickly how to uh, render it. See you in the next video.